Hello, I'm Doug, and this is the Taste and Sensibility channel. And you have stumbled upon Black Licorice video number four, where we are looking at Wiley Wallaby. So this sounds Australian, doesn't it? And the last time I got a package of this, it had different labeling on it, and it made it sound much more Australian than it was. So if you read this one, it said Australian style, classic black for authentic licorice lovers everywhere on the new packaging, which is not on the old, but they're not really trying to be deceptive. The new packaging says made in the USA, like, like a proudly displayed little emblem. So yeah, I can't really accuse them of being deceptive or trying to hide their origin. It's made in Minnesota by Kenny's Candy and Confections. But they have distribution all over the country, I think. And this I picked up at Cross Plus World Market or TJ Maxx or someplace like that. So it's out and it's around and uh, I found it pretty good. So let's get into the smelling and tasting and see what we find. So I remember this having a good strong flavor. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down or leave a comment or register a complaint or whatever you want to do in the comments. Have some interaction. Click on that bell notification and get notified every time we release a new video on Mondays and Thursdays. If you're a subscriber, that means you need to subscribe. You need to sign up with Google. You need to sign up with YouTube. And it looks like I've already opened this pack on the nose. Oh, that's interesting. It's kind of a peppery or savory or some smell that's not just licorice. So the candy's got some other parts that are pretty good. I don't know what to call it though. It's definitely anise oil. I established in video two that the licorice extract doesn't have any aroma. It's like an ethanol solution of the compounds that aren't really volatile or smelly. Ah, but this smells good. Listen, let me throw out a few pieces. Yeah, that smells good. I like that. But it's rich. It's anise-like. This is all you're going to get on the smell, I guess. Let's look at a few ingredients. There's rich wheat flour and sugar, water, cane syrup, dextrose rice syrup, high fructose corn syrup, corn syrup, modified food starch, licorice extract, palm oil, natural flavor, that's probably the anise, Glycerin, soy, mono and diglycerides, potassium sorbate, a preservative, salt, red, yellow, red, yellow, and blue food colorings. So I don't know if any of that's important. But let's take a, a piece or two and see what we find. There's something food-like about it beyond the anise aroma. So just start in. Soft, easy to bite through, chewy. It's a little spicy. The thing I said is peppery on the nose is a, a spicy note. I want to say shrimp or iodine or a frozen fish aroma, <laughs> which might not sound appealing. It's not bad. It's not terrible. Definitely get licorice extract strongly. It's a strong component of the flavor. And the anise is a little bit lower. So licorice is up here. Anise is down here. So it's a good licorice flavor and it's not uh, overly sweet. It's not syrupy sweet. It's got like five or six different sweeteners. I don't know why they don't just use one or two, but whatever. I'm not a food formulator. I don't have to pay. I don't have to figure out the cost of all this stuff. So it's a complex nose and taste. It's a little bit different taste than most. I 
And I keep thinking, shrimp, iodine, marine nuts. Which is a little odd. So Wiley Wallaby, it's a US company. I'll put a link down in the description. It's a big ball flavor, some complexity, and uh, a little different than most. So I like this. And uh, I bet I can eat the whole bag, and I probably will, but in four or five or six different sessions. We'll be alternating between the black chewy candy and other kinds of uh, black licorice concoctions, most of them candy, but every once in a while there might be an odd thing. So stay tuned for all those things coming up. And Come black for more.